Well, cue the music. It's the start of CBS Philadelphia's Summer Fest. So let's go back to Bill Kelly feeling the ocean breeze and Ocean City. Summer mm. breeze makes yeah, me feel well. fine. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> I am not the singer, as we know. You, friend, are you and Yuki. <laughs> Well, uh, yeah, but I'm not going to attempt it right now either. But you're right. There is a nice summer breeze that's making its way on uh, from the relatively cool water. It's a beautiful day. Lots of folks out on the boardwalk. And for a lot of people, they're, you know, repeat visitors that come year after year. And they, uh, you know, like to visit. But there's also some new businesses, brand new businesses that are in town. Take a look at this. It is now, there's now one called Groovy Smoothies. How about that? Groovy Smoothies. It's a movie-themed smoothie shop. It's going to feature customized drinks made with fresh fruits, vegetables, and smoothies. They're actually named after classic Hollywood movies with a little twist. It's located on the 600 block of East 8th Street. And then, of course, from a brand new business to an Ocean City icon. How about this? The sweet sound of saltwater taffy. Coming right off the machine there. It's a legendary business. They're celebrating 125 years. It's the oldest business on the boardwalk. They're still owned and operated, get this, by the same family the whole time. Using recipes passed down from generation to generation, they have more than 60 flavors of saltwater taffy, which is one of my favorites. Oh, my goodness. While some are seasonal, they always carry the same 17 original flavors. Of course, wouldn't be Ocean City without trying the classic treat. I want to bring in Meryl from Shrivers. How are you? I'm great. Happy Memorial Day weekend to you. Yes, thank you. I mean, look at my goodness gracious. What is, what is the best thing about being part of the saltwater taffy business? It's just so sweet. <laughs> it, it, it is sweet. Um, wh what is like the secret? What would you guys say? I mean, all these different flavors. I mean, you've been around for so long. That, that's quite a feat. Right. So originally there were 17 flavors, yeah. but they all were the same color. And then someone got real smart and decided to put a stripe on them. So then that was when we could expand our flavor selection. So what is the most popular? Probably vanilla, chocolate, and strawberry. You it's know what? I, all three. I, I, w I was going to ask you, am I, am I kind of, you know, in the minority when I say, hey, I like vanilla, but apparently I'm not. No, you're not. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, vanilla, chocolate, and strawberry. Well, thank you. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to sneak, uh, probably take this one right here, and I'm going to eat this after I do the weather forecast. Do you know what flavor I got? Is this made on there? No. Um, no, but I believe it's vanilla because it does not have a stripe. Does not have a stripe. Awesome. Thank you so much for joining us here. And thank you for having us. Make sure you see them. The Shrivers, uh, of course, staple for more than 100 years, 125 years. All right, so let me show you what's going Going on weather-wise around the region, we have a sun-filled sky. It is an absolutely gorgeous Friday evening, as you can see. Ocean City, Atlantic City, up and down the shore, over to the I-95 corridor, back to the Poconos. Everything is looking really good for tonight and tomorrow. I'll tell you, if you have plans on your Saturday, you're loving the forecast. A few clouds on the increase over the weekend because of this area of low pressure that's right down now off the South Carolina coastline, bringing widespread rain for those folks down there through the Outer Banks. If you happen to be traveling there this weekend, that's where you're going to see some uh, uh, problems potentially in terms of rain. For us, no rain chance tonight or tomorrow. I mean, models say a 5% chance of 4 in the morning, but we're not going to worry about that. It's about a 20 or 30 percent chance as we're looking out over the next few days, and that's mainly for Sunday and into Monday. So your future weather, look at tomorrow, a sun-filled sky all through the day by tomorrow evening, this time tomorrow night. We'll start to see a couple more clouds, a beautiful Saturday evening, where you'll really notice the change is as we get on into Sunday. Now we start picking up a few more clouds here and there, and then as we advance this, look at the green. That is an indicator of some rain. But notice there's not a lot of it in our region. We're thinking, like I said, a 20% chance. It's, it's really low. Monday at 6, a little bit of a better chance. But regardless, all of these locations, uh, all of these chances are mainly for you folks that are watching us from central Delaware, maybe Cape May, you know, far southern zones. A majority of our area is going to be dry this weekend. Tonight, it's a chilly one, 40s and low 50s. A great one to have your cup of coffee outside, maybe get some morning exercise in, take a walk, play with the kiddos. 78s are high temperature tomorrow under sunny skies. By Sunday and Monday, more clouds, but they'll have little impact on our temperatures. 77 on Sunday. Monday, 82 degrees, a chance of showers primarily in our southern areas. You know, down the shore, 60s because of the uh, relatively cool water. 72 on Monday, a shower possible, mainly Cape May, Wildwood, some of our uh, southern areas. And then the Poconos, that's where we give you the A-plus 
weather. I mean, 74 tomorrow, 81 on Monday, zero chance of rain. Great day to be up in the mountains, or great weekend, I should say, to be up into the mountains. And last but definitely not least, look at Thursday and Friday. 90s for the first time this year. And you might be thinking, oh my goodness, it's only May. Is it? Our average first occurrence is May 24th. So that's actually a little bit behind schedule, but we're tracking that. We're warming things up by next weekend. We are live here down the shore in Ocean City, New Jersey on this gorgeous Friday evening. Jess and Don, I'm going to send it back to you guys in the nice studio. All right, Bill, thank you. Don's <laughs> not liking that 90s. 90s.